yeah, so NAD is a molecule that is, is literally in every single cell and if you didn't have it, you would not be alive. Um, it's very important in mitochondrial function so that your, your cells can basically um, make the energy they need out the nutrients that you eat. Uh, it's also implicated a lot in longevity because high levels of NAD allow a lot of longevity pathways in your cell to be switched on and a lot of these um, cellular pathways are the pathways that basically tell your cell to look after itself and maintain itself and keep itself in good shape. Um, but as we get older, your NAD actually decreases, which means these pathways get switched off and you can't benefit from the fact that your cells are actually quite good at looking after themselves if they're told to. I have a, a fairly unique combination of um, areas of expertise. I'm an expert in drug development, um, but also the science of aging and why we age, which until recently were two sort of areas that you wouldn't put together. Um, but now there's obviously a lot of interest in developing uh, molecules that will extend our health span. And um, so when all the, the sort of watershed of results came through showing that actually you know, you can now scientifically prove that you can slow your rate of aging, you can even reverse aging. Um, obviously, I was really excited about that because um, from, a, you know, a drug standpoint, that's going to be really interesting in the future. So I wanted to be at the, the leading edge of that. Um, unfortunately, drug development takes a long time. Um, and I was a little frustrated that there's this really cutting edge science happening, but it's going to be, you know, 10, 15 years before Big Pharma decides it's important and actually does something about it. So I basically founded Nachido um, to kind of look at ways that we could bring this science to everyday people much quicker than um, any pharma company could do it, basically. As I mentioned, my, my expertise is, is drug discovery and, and more specifically how um, more efficient ways to do drug discovery. Drugs aside, you know, a molecule is a molecule. It could be a supplement. So how do you find molecules that have the activity in the body that you want them to have? Um, now, most companies or um, scientists kind of go about this in the way of they say, OK, we have a we have a problem in the body. For example, um, NAD is declined. How do we put that right? Um, and what they tend to do is say, OK, um, they find one small reason why it's happened and then they set about fixing that reason. But in reality, biology is much more complex. And if you want to have any real impact on biology, you need to do multiple things or use multiple interventions um, to have any real impact. Um, so. At the heart of our company, what we do is we specialize on finding what are the specific things you need to do or the specific combination of things or combination of molecules that you need to be able to have that impact on biology that you want. Um, so for NAD, uh, one of the main ways that people try to boost their NAD at the moment is by using a, a precursor molecule such as nicotinamide riboside or NMN. Um, we kind of view that as, as doing that one thing um, because you're not looking at the bigger picture. So the reason why NAD is declining in your cells as you age um, is not because your cells have a lack of the precursor or the raw material to make NAD. It's because they don't make NAD as efficiently. They don't recycle it as well. Um, they uh, excrete a lot more nicotinamide, methylated nicotinamide. Um, so actually by just simply using a precursor and, and putting it into the cell, you're not fixing the underlying root causes of why your NAD is actually declined as you age um, so basically what we've done is is looked at that as a whole so look at the big picture and how can you essentially fix that cell so it's producing NAD again like it was when it's young so we're not so much putting more NAD into the cell we're making the cell make its own NAD again like it did when you were young